So good morning to you, welcome along to Eclipse Motorcycles this morning, another test ride. Today we're test riding this, the LXR125 liquid cooled. And just a quick look around the bike on this, we've done these numerous times. This is the version in black, very aggressive styling to the front of the bike, very nice sports bike look. Uh, it's a water cooled machine, very very easy to check the water level just by looking in above the top of the engine. So very very easy to check your water levels, your oil levels and see all your brake pressures etc etc. Currently running 150 rubber on the back of these on a 17 inch and you've got the 110 up the front. Very very grippy tyres and a very very nice styling to this bike. Very nice deep seat on this as well that tucks you right in on the tank. This has been the best selling 125 for 2019, 2020. This is going to go absolutely crazy. Now, obviously, on these ones, the standard LXR has the metal swing arm, still swing arm to the rear, and you've got the standard forks. Now, the SE, slightly different bike, has the inverted race forks, and it has the aluminium swing arm. But all the LXRs handle absolutely superbly. So we're going to take this one out and give it a ride test. The mirrors on this very, very deep and a perfect view of the road behind you. So really good view from those mirrors, just looking over your shoulder. And I do like the way that those mirrors do just rise up above the front of the bike. So we're gonna turn this one on, let it reset itself and take it out. Currently 1.7 miles on the bike on this one. So all the levers have been checked, absolutely everything perfectly. Braking on this is absolutely superb, checked out by my technicians. Five speed box on this one. So one down and four up. And that exhaust has got a growl to it as well. So it does sound very, very good. So I'm gonna run this one out into traffic. wait for the traffic to clear thank you very much mr. car driver so just looking down at the dashboard rev counter in the center all your functions just to the left just here for your indicators main beam engine light and then right hand side of the main center and we're going to go for it comes up with your miles per hour gear indicator fuel along the bottom and your odometer just to the bottom right as well and just working through the box nice and gently and just bring it up to 40 mile an hour and obviously we're on fresh rubber so I'm going to take my time on it first couple of miles just to get these tyres nicely scrubbed in and a lot of people say, how do you actually scrub the tyres in on a bike when you've got new rubber? He's just jumped a red light, naughty, naughty driver. We see a lot of that on the ride tests. So how do you actually scrub the tyres in when doing a ride test on these Lex Motos? And I shall be demonstrating that in just a second. Once we get on the dual carriageway and I have no traffic behind me. But as usual... These little LXRs are absolutely perfect, straight out of the crate. Never had an issue with any of them. The only thing we do tend to find is that customers complain that the front fairing panel cracks when they go to move the mirrors. And that is down to inexperience and rider error. You should always unbolt the Allen key before you move your mirror stalks. Don't just go pulling them or trying to bend them around because you will find that you will crack those front fairings. It's like any bike. If you try moving something, when it's fixed, you are going to crack a, crack a fairing panel on these. So make sure that you get your mirror stalks. Normally we set them up for the customers. But if you are moving the mirror stalks out slightly, unbolt them at the Allen key, move them, then re-bolt them back up. Don't just grab a handful and move them because you will end up cracking those fairing panels so it's down to you. Obviously fairing panels are not covered under warranty. So it is down to you to make sure that you do the job properly. So no traffic behind me at the moment. So what I'm gonna do 
is just show you how you scrub these tyres in and it's very very easy and you just put a little bit of counter steer on the bike and just weave the bike left to right very very slowly just to get a bit of wear on the edge of the tyres and a lot of people say oh I've my dad or my mum have followed bikers in their car and the biker is weaving all over the road you know is there something wrong with the bike is he drunk no what you're actually doing is warming up the tyres a motorcycle tyre is basically semi-circled so it's not like a car tyre where you have a flat surface and you've got four points of contact on the road with a motorcycle tyre because they are circular rather than flat you are required or you need to warm those tyres up and the easiest way to do it is by doing this and putting a little bit of weave on the tyres now I'm actually doing it by just putting counter steer on the bars so I'm just pushing on the bars very very gently just to get some edge weave on those and we always say never ever pull on the handlebar it's a push and obviously same thing again you can do it by just moving your body weight around on the bike as well so just by leaning right and leaning left I can do exactly the same thing just by shifting my body weight I can get these this bike to just move around just by shifting my body weight on this and as you can see to the right to the left to the right back to the left just by moving my body weight around I can get the bike just to weave slightly but you can do the same just by applying a little bit of forward pressure on the lever so if I was to push left push right and I'm pushing on the left bar pushing on the right bar you can get that bike to counter steer and this does come in very very handy if you are cornering there are loads of instructional videos on YouTube how to counter steer and there is also a very very good thing about trail braking now obviously if you are on a 125 don't try trail braking unless you've tried it off road first try a car park or something doing circles put a bit of trail brake on use a bit of engine braking and just practice but once again there are loads of instructional videos about trail braking as well and you'll tend to find a lot of the big riders that ride sort of 600 cc's and above tend to use a lot of counter steer and trail brake so here we go I'm just going into the corner and I'm pushing on that right bar putting the power on applying it gently counter steer counter steer counter steer and I'm set bolt upright on the bike so I'm actually using the counter steer to steer the bike rather than shifting my body weight to go into the corner now this time I'm going to shift in with the body weight I'm going to lean off the bike and I can get exactly the same thing and I forgot <laughs> traffic light wasn't working I've got to get so used to the traffic lights working and now they're not I can just go all the way round oops and then once again counter steer pushing on the left bar leaning over and that is how you use your counter steer so it's very very easy if you're coming into the apex and you've come into the corner a little bit hot you don't think you're going to make it just put the counter steer on the bar that will pull you round shift the body weight use your counter steer so we're currently 12 miles in on this bike doing very very well no issues whatsoever so all very good on this one running absolutely perfectly at 42 mile an hour so what we're going to do now we're going to edit out here and then I shall cut back in when we do the final bit of urban and just to update you the riot video is a week away I am ride testing that riot so it's currently Tuesday Tuesday the 4th I am riding the riot this coming Saturday and that video is going to be up Sunday morning so watch out for the riot video that is coming Sunday morning and I am just going to do a pure vlog I'm not going to do any stuff about the garage or anything else it's just going to be a pure vlog completely on that Lexmoto Raya all the specs on it what it does the handling the capabilities so that's coming up this Sunday 
obviously this ride tests for a customer so we're going to cut out here and I'll catch up with you in just a few when we come back in on the urban mileage so we're coming back off the dual carriageway now and the last part of the urban mileage currently 19.1 miles on the bike absolutely zero issues uh, with these little lex motors I never expect them to be any and I do test ride these to the absolute hilt 42 mile an hour making use of all the braking on it and just to pull in on them brakes it stops on a six but it's absolutely perfect every time very very easy just to click through the box as well so you can hear does drop into those gears very very well clutch position absolutely perfect so the bike point very very good even with the front brake on the bike point on this clutch is absolutely spot on adjusted by my technicians front brake is good rear brake is good all the functions all the indicators are all fully working as well and I have checked the rear brake and the foot brake so absolutely spot on with this one pulls through the gears very very nicely second third fourth into fifth low rpms and just bring the power on and then once again straight up to 40 mile an hour so absolutely perfect on the gearbox so i'm going to do the final bit of the urban mileage bit the final half a mile on or so just bring it around town and just show what it's like just handling around those roundabouts and the small town roads just coming back down into the 30s for the camera and then we're going to be making our way back to the garage well obviously I've done the reach on this one quite a few times rideability, economy, affordability, comfort and handling and the last review I gave us a full on 50 and as always it is, this bike is just a full on 50 but if you haven't seen the uh, LXR SE blog that I did, or the vlog that I did the SE handles like a totally different machine more refined on the suspension absolutely spot on with the handling and you can do things on an SE that you can't do on this you can just throw the SE around and it just takes it it soaks up those bumps this LXR corners like it's on rails but the SE just does it so much better and I did actually compare it to uh, going to somewhere like Lidl's or Aldi's and buying a chocolate muffin that is the uh, sort of a comparison to the standard LXR the SE is like going to Waitrose and buying that chocolate coated crispy covered all singing all dancing muffin that's a little bit more money at the end of the day they're both muffins but the SE if you've got the extra £300 for the SE, go for an SE. But I absolutely love these LXRs. Gorgeous sports bike riding style. And obviously I'm a sports biker, so I know exactly what these should feel like. And this thing just handles so superb for a little 125. Obviously if I was on just the CBT, or if it's something to come back into biking, I would buy one of these every time absolutely perfect no wrist ache no knee ache it's a lovely tucked in to the uh, tank knee style and it just does everything so superbly now obviously I have ridden other brands but for the money these LXRs are spot on value for money every time overloads of potholes obviously suspension is quite hard on this but it's not bouncing me around in the seat I can feel the bumps I'm just looking through the apex so that's the LXRSC guys A gorgeous little bike if you enjoyed it leave your comments below thumbs up thumbs down up to you if you are interested in one of these I've got three left in the black we've got some more coming at Eclipse Motorcycles 01908 643 603 if you're interested in one 
as always smash the hell out of the notifications bell like subscribe all the social media on my page revbomb.co.uk eclipse motorcycles are down the bottom website and the facebook page and then all my social media and merch is on the back end so you've got twitter instagram youtube and the facebook don't forget to join the Lexmoto Owners UK Club. Be well, ride safe, and until the next time, it's a big goodbye from me.